Hey guys and gals, Von Baden with Nightmare Creations here. Another video. Because another week has passed. And I want to give you guys something. So in today's video, I am going to murder this, by the way. I know I am. Maybe I'll say it right, maybe I won't. I don't know. Um, I am going to show you my take on Saiyan, Saiyan armor, Dragon Ball Z. There's a lot of those going around. Um, the templates I took from, uh, I used SKS props uh, templates. I'll leave a link for his video down below. Made some of my own creative choices, and this is what I ended up with. So, stay tuned. All right, we're back here with my Saiyan, I believe. If I'm mispronouncing it, go ahead and leave me some hate down below. Just no thumbs down, please. I don't want no thumbs down. But, anyways, so as I said, I um, went to SKS Props video on how he built his. I made some choices to take mine in a little bit of a different direction and run into some of my own issues of making it what I wanted. So I'll cover what what came up and uh, how I fixed it. So the time has come to reveal my armor here. So, this armor has multiple different thicknesses of foam. The, the back piece here is out of 10 millimeter. The breast plate, I guess, is what you would want to call it. And the um, abdomen panels here are all made out of 10 millimeter foam. There is a flat piece is underneath this that is made from six millimeter foam and in the armor that a lot of them are doing instead of this layered panels they are doing strip panels and there's you know a quarter of an inch difference between each panel when this is all said and done, I am going to lace these in the crisscross fashion, kind of like samurai armor. And same thing here in the back. Now, when his foam, when he did his foam build SKS props, the panel in the back on the side that has the velcro here um it went like this because of how he was doing his phone i could have went that way but my my laces here that i have would i would have lost one side and then it would have looked very lopsided since it's on this side to see it on one side and not the other um, also, up here in the armor that I've seen a lot of people do, they do the, the squares on the shoulder pads here. I'm not going that route. I'm actually, I had half, uh, half round dowels that I cut and glued down on both sides. I'm going to give this with the heat gun and a piece of tin foil. I will give it a leather look to it. And then I'm gonna also poke some holes in about mid mid strap there for something else, which we'll get into in just a minute. Um, this will eventually have a belt that comes down that will connect to 
the leg armor and all of that fun stuff. This is all for my Erebus character. Um, the shield that I did on a previous video is for the Erebus character. And the Daybreaker sword is for the Erebus character. So all of these have a reason why I'm building them and making them. So, um, not a difficult built build to do. Um, the nice thing with the templates that are given is if you're a skinny raily guy, you can uh, make an armor for yourself using his templates. If you're a bit pleasantly plump like I am, I can still build an armor for myself. So, the next step for this is I'm going to make some arrowheads, basically. Um, basically a triangle that will lift up for a magnet to be put inside it. The arrowhead will hide that to where I can, when I have the cape, which I'm in the process of trying to find good material to make the cape that's going to go for this. And that's why the arrowheads on, aren't on there yet, because I'm going to have to have that material before I can build the arrowheads to make sure that everything can attach. But anyways, the arrowheads will have magnets in it and at the end of the capes the two pieces of the cape that will come over the shoulders and go into the arrowheads they will have magnets in there so it's an easy on easy off kind of situation um like i said the shoulder straps here will be leatherish looking when it's all said and done i'm going to poke holes in them two holes kind of like i did on the ribs using my TNT cosplay hole punch, which is amazing. Um, I believe I did a video on those tools a long time ago when I bought them. If not, and you're curious about them, by all means, leave me a comment down below and I will uh, send you a link. All of this foam is from TNT cosplay as well. I'm not a paid sponsor for them or anything like that. I just really enjoy their their foam. Um, you get good value, and it's not a crappy uh, product. So, anyways, um, once I get the holes punched in there, I'm gonna take some leather straps and go through the holes, and with the cape over it, I will tie tie the cape down, so I don't lose the detail of the leather look here. And I think it would add a really cool um, detail to the whole cape situation. Sorry, I'm uploading videos as we're speaking here. Um, so I got two things going. Um, I'm rambling now. So I will do an update video once I get to painting by the time I get to painting I should have the arrowheads on here and all of that um, I've been working on the paint for the shield and I've got my base colors down I gotta do some grunging it up and some other cool things that I'm not gonna get into right now because I don't want to make this video super long and you guys are like will you ever shut up so on that note Syrian armor um, and because I went to the outside with this panel so I didn't lose this I had to hide it by using these um, square dowel rods and I put them on both sides for um, they look the same and um, it was a fun build very much fun build. So, if this is your first time to my channel and you want to see what this looks like once it's done and painted, then hit that subscribe on my on the button down below somewhere in there. I don't know. Come back, catch some new videos. I'll be doing the um, shield update.
update here soon. Sorry about the notification. And I will see all of you on the very next video. Thanks. Bye.